Greetings everyone, and Grade here from another Company Rose 1 replay. Spawn on the south side as the US forces. Times for engineer, we have happiness. It's finding happiness in engineers. Spawn on the north side as the Baramok forces. We have bio sparks. Engineers, saddle up. Engineers heading past the fuel point. Maybe I'm directly from this munitions point. I'm not sure where he's going to do. He is heading for that munitions point. That is a high yield munitions point. You will need to capture some sectors in between he this fuel sector to get that one supply, or this munitions sector along this strategic point to get that one supply. Three engineers now upon field, number four on the way. I wonder if he's going to do something weird like a Going for support weapon center or is it going to go for a late barracks? Need either structure to get out a supply yard, if I remember correctly. In order to progress your attacking. But he, with four engineers, he's going to have some excellent captain pressure. His opponent has gone for triple pioneer. No, only double pioneer. First folks on the field. And now we've got the barracks now being blown on the field. US player will get quite a bit of capture field control. Next up, we may see MG42 or more Volks. I doubt it's going to be for a Schimmwagen. Munition sector is now being captured on up. Barracks now complete. Of course, engineers can't really do much versus the Volks Grenadiers. Other than play Ring Around the Rosy. And having the engineers to track them like that is actually a good trade because Volks engineers are much more expensive than engineers. Looks like it's going to be live but live situation. Nope, the Volks engineers don't want to let him live. We got these engineers to capture these sectors over here. Rifle and squad now pull on the field. By second, third, eventually. Going for the fuel sector once again. Now I got the pioneers here to fire some fire support there. Maybe I'm going to flush out the engineers. We've now got more engineers in the rifle squad to advance in. And it looks like he's going to send the engineers to capture some sectors. At least this one is slightly wounded, so if any sector's going to capture, that one would be it. Rifle squad can have some heavy cover there, as well as the Volkswagen it's more of a fight that Volkswagen could win, so he backs on off. Engineers are kept the fuel sector now. Flamethrower are now being deployed on out by the US engineers. This one back here. You have a Varimok sniper upon the field. I thought it was going to be a MG42 another Volks, but I was mistaken. Losing ground out there. Engineers and pioneers do find each other. Looks like the engineers did win out ahead in the health wise, but they need to get out of the garrison and prevent that cutoff sector from being decaptured. The cutoff sector will be decaptured, denying this fuel income. That is a high yield fuel point. Engineers will win this fight. That got a lot of free damage there. Pioneers getting good damage, pulls back. Somehow both of them are still alive. I bet I bet they really wish they were dead, seeing how little health they have. Probably a little bit lightheaded from all the blood loss. Does lose one of them there, and the sniper does retaliate. Jeep has been pulling the field to pursue the sniper. We're ready. We do know there was at least one Vermock landmine right here. Don't see any more at the moment. Once he realizes a jeep on the field, he should play around the landmine because he has nothing else protected. Got two rifle or snipers on the field. Oh, and the jeep may find a landmine. That's not good for the U.S. player because nope, the jeep does skirt around. Does from the snipers. Does backing off, does not secure the kill, but he may reverse into the landmine. 
Yeah, he's gonna find the land man land mine this time. Oh, well, the landmine got the kill. I think the Vermont player, even though he didn't like the fact that he had to retreat back to snipers, is more than glad that the jeep is now down. And he may have seen the landmine built there. Yeah, now with the jeep down, uh, pioneers. I don't know if a minesweeper. Get more shots there. Starting to fall him back. The landmine may explode and splash the Volksgrenadiers. Nice. He noticed his Volks were spread out like that, so he sent one of the guys to find the landmine. And congratulations. You found the landmine, buddy. Now he's going to sit there, agony and pain, and bleed out. Jeep has been pulling a few. Volksgrenadiers may or may not have access to Panzerfaust. One of the three. I just found that landmine there. This one time he needs to get out a minesweeper because so many times I've seen snipers hit landmines. Won the other game. Vermark landmine being deployed on out. Keep backing on off. Rifle squad is now deployed on the field. Engineers deployed out the motor pool. Veramox snipers unca- oh. How nasty. Triple Veramox sniper. The jeeps might have a lot of work in front of him. He knows at least about, about two. Does not know about this third. Taking a risk, not finding any landmines. Does wipe the sniper there. Not sniper, pioneer. The snipers fire away. And here comes the jeep, not paying attention to the fact that there's now a jeep behind their line. Slowly creeping around. Not properly targeting. Panzerfaust fired, so he was running away to avoid the Panzerfaust. Finds a landmine there with both his engineers, so that's not good. Jeep taking time to volley down. Sniper's wounded. Sniper's falling back. He has no freaking crit. Enemy unit lost. One sniper down. Does lose an engineer. One for another pass fouls and jeep down. He may lose his Volks. And the Volks Grenadiers does may escape on out. Engineer has decaptured or captured that munitions sector. Now I do have a Greyhound being pulled out on the field. This may be for pack 38. We do have a landmine, very, very defensive landmine here. In order to prevent any units from trying to run them down, you play Ring on the Rosie, and whatever's playing Ring on the Rosie become, I say pockets full of posy, but that makes no sense. But you will become ashes, and they all fall down. Howdy. Yep, voice definitely going out. Armored car here. Armor skirt's now upgrade. complete. Not enough munitions for a pinto mount just yet. That was blowing another landmine there, salvaging the carcass of the jeep. Always salvage the carcass of this jeep as well. We got a full combat load. Nope, not COVID cough. Just overusing my voice cough. Shooting and sleeping. It's all the same to me. Two snipers here. Finds pack 38. Now he needs to back away from pack 38. Those little miss there. Telephone pole does go down. Ready for the crowds. Engineers do get inside the garrison. We do now have the pioneers here. Losing ground out. Weapon support center now Recon complete. Standing by. Oh. Okay, he really wants the snipers dead. His phone's focused on snipers, so he's going to try to hard counter them with air reconnaissance to spot them. Asking for a target. And maybe strafe them, so he needs 200 munitions. 
Oh no, it's Houdini. It's the great Houdinio. Eh, the only good sniper is a dead sniper. I'm actually really not a big fan of the design of snipers in both Computers 1 and 2. I like the Jaeger Light Infantry and the Pathfinder design better. And more of a support unit rather than one man army. Points. We're losing a munitions point. Motorcycle here. Grab squad up straight forward. He does have decent munitions come at 58. He could eye for munitions cache in the high yield one. He'll bring in more straight runs. Do you now have those engineers get some severe damage? Now all these forces are now falling back. He's getting some more munitions sectors now being captured. This one has been protected as well. With this one captured, he will be up to 58 munitions per minute, which is a significant amount. He will soon have enough for a strafe run. <clears throat> You know, I just had a really stupid thought in my mind. You always put 50 cows and 30 cows on the aircraft. Why was the MG-42 never put on aircraft? I thought they did have like, I guess maybe they didn't have heavy barrel one like the MG-34. Greyhound does take some severe damage. We are losing a munitions sector. That an MG-15? I can't see what that is top of my head. Is that similar, more similar to the MG-34 or the 42? Wait, wasn't the MG-15 a captured French one, or was that like the M215? Not against aircraft, but mounted on aircraft. Because the US still used the various 30 cows on aircraft. As well as the 50 cal. Maybe they're a different type of 30 cal. We have a threat to our victory point. Now we've got the munitions sector being captured up here. Flamethrower here. here. Fuck, is he and that through? engineer took a couple sniper bullets. We're losing a munitions sector. Sniper on deck. There's a recon run. The Volkswagen did take a shot there. Here comes a straight from run. And only pin the snipers, takes out the motorcycle of all things. And hardly did anything to the snipers. MG 131. I don't know that one on top of my head. That's the hot. I, I would assume there's also 130 other different the MGs. Yeah, I probably should not. I was just never thought about if they had ever put. MG 42 is on the air, on aircraft. Another recon run there. Sniper rolls a miss. That wasn't a whiff shot. That was a miss shot. 13 millimeter. Got it. Which is actually larger than the 50 cal because 50 cal is a 12.7. Rifle squads do take some severe damage. They do both fall back there. Killing those snipers will go a long way. Squad is ready. We're losing a point out there. Good on the Grenadiers. Now got two US snipers. Uh, I think you got that backwards. A 13 millimeter would have higher damage and lower rate of fire, probably. Unless you're referring to MG42 versus the M. Got it. Sorry. Sometimes my mind gets crossed, and when there's also stream delay, I start thinking other things. And this is one reason why I also don't like Sniper v Sniper. They weren't snipers. Oh, 
another recon run there. No, one US sniper gets counter snipe. The other sniper does escape on out there. Motorcycle engaging. Both these snipers are falling back and hit by the rifle squad. Greyhound in pursuit. I haven't looked into any sort of mod. Never thought about it. There goes the Greyhound. Greyhound does go down. And there goes the motorcycle as well. Rap Squad is now for C1 and unfettered. Back 38 taking some pot shots as well. Army's finest here! They're going after Back 38, not 40. I can call these. Yeah. It's hard to get them straight as well. Like, I think this is basically the same model between Cup Heroes 1 and 2. I think the Cup Heroes 2 one does have a larger barrel barrel to ward, but they basically look identical across both games. Germans are seizing territory. Rival Squad does fall back, taking too much damage there. The fact that they're wounded is not really important when fighting against snipers. Or defending against snipers. Yeah, Pack 38 is a 50mm, Pack 40 is a 75mm. So think the difference between Panzer 3 and a Panzer 4. Or, I guess, the Puma 50mm versus the Panzer 4. And Stug. And Hetzer, AT Hetzer. Listen up, front lines are collapsing. I would say, out of World War II, probably my favorite vehicle would be be probably the Panzer III. It was designed with logistics in mind and obsolescence, as was obsolescent. After all, the original the Panzer III had only the 37mm rather than the 50mm because simply Germany didn't have the ammo for 50mm, so it's like, yeah, just put the 37mm and can always throw a 50mm later on. And that 37mm had two machine guns coaxials. These squads do fall back. Those snipers are still causing them huge issues. He may need to save up 200 missions for the recon run strafe. The problem is why Germany didn't win is, unit is ready to make their actually job. the lack of fuel as well as manpower. The heavier tanks does actually make sense when the lack of manpower since they've been having manpower shortages since the like, invasion of Poland or France. So the heavier vehicles will point. allow less need point. for manpower for them. Well, the biggest problem is the fuel as well. The Tiger tank was probably better of the heavy tanks rather than the King Tiger, as well as the Panther, because it did what it needed to do. It provided good anti-infantry support with the 88, as well as able to resist a lot of stuff. It doesn't have to be bulletproof after all. It's not you don't have to worry about tank versus tank combat. You and historically have to worry about tank versus infantry combat, so having better high explosives explosives is better. I mean, it's a war that Germany probably in most situations would never have won. Territory sector being captured. Tank depot now being deployed on a field. Tank depot destroyed on the field. Enemy unit down. So this take depot is a bit of a loss there. The Stu probably took him off his side. You know, the funny thing as well, I don't know who Power Man is. It sounds like something from Mega Man. I'm guessing Mega Man. There's a lot of names I don't know. A lot of things I should know, but I don't. People always say I should always watch The Godfather, and I never do. And now the VP is captured. The funny thing as well, when it comes to invading the Soviet Union, if we have enough, enough time, the Soviets will probably attack them. Motorpool takes severe damage. B is in. Troops can now make sticky bombs. Ah. NA, short for sodium, right? Paratroopers now being brought on in. AT gun does good to get it there. Oh, that was a paratrop AT gun, not paratrop eight paratroopers. Oh, I'm going crazy. Rifle squad does fall back. Enemy 
Sniper's got a good hit there. One Vermox Sniper does get picked on off. Motorcycle taking some severe damage. Motorcycle pursuing the snipers. No landminder to pick. Motorcycle's down, and now we've got the rifle squads falling back with the stew. I don't think the US player has access to the sticky bomb yet. And losing the motor pool and the supply yard, he got put back in tech. Big time. But luckily, he can always bring in some AT guns, pair drop in. Does not have enough munitions for another strafe and run, but only one Our sniper remaining. Folks are moving around. Pioneers kept the territories as well. Recon run coming on by. Yeah, I don't. You say the Stalin wouldn't join the Axis powers, but I don't think Hitler or uh, what was his name, Hiroshi Shido. Especially not Mussolini would definitely not accept him. I, I think the three Axis powers would not accept accept the Soviets, other than to backstab them later. After all, the Japanese did not want to do anything with the communists. The rifleman squad engaging the folks near a close range and does not capture the VP all the way. The rifle squad gets hit pretty hard there. Sniper's fine way. But it looks like the folks should be able to skip out there. Spots a sniper, but there's a line of sight blocker there through the crane. He asks him to join. Hmm. Can't really say for sure then. It's also one of the things as well when it comes to Hirohito, the Japanese Emperor, or whoever controlled the state at the time for Japan, probably would not like it. I always like to point out that I always like to say that Japan's been started World War II since they're the ones who first fired a shot. Sniper's falling on back now. Because uh, people always say that World War II started the uh, invasion of Poland. But the East was already at war. The Far East. So I always consider the Marco Polo Bridge incident is probably the start of World War II. What do you all think is the start of World War II? Time to kill some crowds. 57 crew ready After for all, order. the Japanese invasion of China, this time fully, not just not Manchuria, did, is, has direct calls against the United States in the war. After all, after the Chinese invasion, the US player did an oil embargo to Japan, which made it so they invaded the southern islands, which they, to do that, they wanted to bomb Pearl Harbor to destroy the U.S. fleet, at least cripple it, to regain the footholding and to invade China. If that makes any sort of brief sense. It's also, when people say there's two separate wars, not entirely wrong as well. Also, Nobody considers the Winter War or the Continuation War part of the same war as well. Up oh, there goes another motorcycle. Recon run flying on in. Sniper's here, safe from the snipers. And the rifle squad flying back. Oh, they had a lot of big strings of victories early on, so... Maybe that's one reason why they believe they could, but... Also, as well, if you follow Germany's expansion path, it actually is obtaining resources to feed the war machine. They invade one country to, say, get iron, cobalt, the next country to get uh, food, copper, things of that sort. Japan. Japan, how they got the war, the start of their side of the war is. The government lost control of the army, and they started invading China without any orders from up high. AT gun does get decrewed and gliding away to victory. Folks, grenadiers and grenadiers, he hits, hits from the riflemen. AT guns saying hi to the snipers. <laughs> I love that bug. Good 
Good generals think of logistics over tactics. It's if I remember correctly, one of the sayings. Most gonna do take some damage. Hello, cat. I'll push way forward. The problem as well, the Italians more or less threw a bit of a wrench in Hitler's plan, Mussolini, because they did poorly in multiple regions, such as Greece. Listen here. Hellcat, the but they did, they did push uh, Yugoslavia to join, more or less, and Romania as well to get the Romanian oil fields. Snipers will get some good hits there on the Volks. And also one reason why to not deny oil, that's why the United Kingdom invaded Iran and Iraq. As well as uh, lend the supply line up to Russia. Pretty much. Their best tank was only really crewed by Germans, the P-40. Everything else is more mount uh, meant for mountain warfare, not for desert warfare. Another recon run. Does spot the pack 40. Pack 40 yeah, retaliates against the rifleman. Rifle squad advancing. Versus one Hellcat. Sweet four. Got two stews here, which will have trouble versus the Hellcat and vice versa. The snipers take up the pack 40. Very good. Vermox snipers here. Grandiers as well. The Wehrmacht snipers need to rotate over here. Losing we'll play shots, can force back Ready both of these the riflemen and take out the pack or the M180 gun. Oh, Hellcat did spot the snipers. He goes, he's going to try to crush the snipers. He crushed one of the snipers. If you see a sniper camouflage like that, try to crush it. Like the pioneers. Try crushing them. Enemy snipers fire away. Grandmark sniper did not get hit. Snipers avoid that shot, and the AT gun or the Stug does go down the Stu. He saw the sniper running. Balance there, and this game's pretty much over. There's an ending chatting phase. And that is the end of the replay. This is Angrade saying, thank you for watching, and on to the next replay. <clears throat>